A major breakthrough in cancer research made right here in West Michigan. Scientists at the Van Andel Institute have discovered a possible new way to treat colorectal cancers and possibly other tumors. I visited the facility to learn all about it. In a room filled with beakers and test tubes. It's a pretty big deal, yes. A team of scientists made a major discovery in the world of cancer treatment, specifically for colorectal cancer. I've been doing this for a long time, and um, this is really, in, for my lab, this is a major breakthrough. This Scott Rothbart is a professor in the Department of Epigenetics at Van Andel Institute. He and his team have discovered two medications that, when given together, can fight cancer cells better than either alone. Sort of like give a one-two punch to um, colon cancer and other solid tumor types. The drugs are DNMT and EZH2 inhibitors. How it works is by tricking the cancer cells to thinking they have a virus. We call this a viral mimicry effect. Okay, great. So a tumor thinks it has a virus. Why is that important? What this means for a cancer cell uh, is, say, a gene that normally would suppress cancer growth is turned off in that cancer cell, and that's part of the mechanism by which that cancer cell evades the cues to stop growing. Your immune system will recognize the cancer cell as foreign and try to get rid of it, which means a lot to people battling the deadly disease. Colorectal cancer is one of the leading causes of cancer death worldwide for both men and women. In fact, colorectal cancer is the second most common cause of cancer deaths in the United States. According to the American Cancer Society, this year alone, more than 53,000 Americans are expected to die from it. This is um, something that we're very excited about testing in the clinical trial, whether we see you know, evidence of um, immune cell uh, activation um, in people exposed to these drugs. And it also provides a potential opportunity to combine these epigenetic drugs with more standards of care in the space of immunotherapy. Now this research is still in the early stages. Van Andel Institute is working with clinical oncologists to develop the clinical trials. They hope to enroll patients in the near future.